right, there you go, folks. That was the national anthem. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight's contest between the Woolies from Milbury and the Euro and Leicester Wolverines begins shortly. Remind you all that after tonight's contest, there will be the uh, an award will be presented. More information on that later. So, so here we go, folks. We got yeah. Leicester Wolverines at currently four and zero, playing the one in three Milbury Woolies, coming off a fifty-two to fifty win against. Uh, David Prouty last week, so they can uh, they can really throw the ball. Uh, I don't think their record indicates how good they are. Should be a pretty good contest tonight. This will be a big test for Leicester tonight. And here we go with the kickoff. The Wolverines will be kicking off. The Woolies will be receiving the opening kickoff. Number two, Nick Mackey's kick, recovered by number 24. That is Antonio Venturin. Ball didn't go anywhere there. Went about maybe 10 yards. So we're looking at um, just about on the 50 yard, 45-yard uh, line. Ball is out to the 40-yard line. Willies will begin the first drive of the game from there. First and 10. Ball is just shy of the 40-yard line. First play of the game, knocked down by Matthew Morrow, number 80. Gonna have trouble throwing over him all night. Good play there. Number 12, John Rubens pass. Bad relay by number 80, Matt Morrow. Second down and 10 for the Woolies. Second down and 10. They're up the middle. About five yards there on the play. Give it to number 33. So I'll uh, most likely be solo tonight, maybe uh, joined by uh, the Dan go. Kenny, the goldfish guy here in town, as you know. So, so be prepared. Dan, Dan knows his football. We'll He's got a young five. son on the freshman team, Ball Sammy. Just and he comes out on the varsity too five. and the JV too. So it should be an exciting night tonight. So let's just stop some for about two yards. So nice play there in the D. That is Antonio Ventura. He is short of the first down. Play broken up by a host of Wolverine defenders, including number 55, Paul Pepin. P squared. Paul, Pe Paul Pepin on the play there. 47 yard line. Fourth down and three. Fourth and, fourth and three on the play there. They're going to go for it here. On the road. Don't know if it was offsides or. Uh, There's a flag on the play. That'll be against. Against Lester. Well, Lester's, be against Wolverines. Lester's usually pretty disciplined about that, but they fell for it. Encroachment, great football word. Coach calls a timeout on that. He's not happy on that. Is a Wolverine timeout. Folks, while time is out, a little bit early to remind oh. you, but hey. Coach Griff is not happy on that play right there. You know, you get the ball right there, fourth and third, and uh, no one there, folks. No you know that was coming. You know there was a hard count right there. So we have a first and ten for Milbury just over midfield. First and ten, Milbury. Found the hole there. Give again to number 24, Antonio Ventura. Find some right on the right side. Find some room on the right side. Eventually forced out of bounds by number six, Sam Boma. Big game for the Woolies, though. First Deep down. Into Lester territory. Nobody can move the ball. First and ten for the Woolies. Looks like nobody's there, running right up the middle. Again, number 24, Ventura. 
This time dragged down by, well, number six again, Sam Bowman. Number 26, Malachi Sealy also in on that. Another first down, however. Ball's on the six, still called the 17-yard line. So first and 10 for the Woolies from the Wolverines' 17-yard line. First and 10. Bruin keeps it, takes it himself on the right side, close to a first down. Brought down by a couple of Wolverines over there. It looks like number 23. So it looks like uh, nobody's going to take this in for the first opening drive. Uh, penalty cost him right there. Big penalty. Short of the first down, second down and three. Big stop, Wolverines in the backfield. Sniff that one out. So it looks like a sack right there for Lester. Then tear him again on the right side. Big play right there, moving back. Push back, however. Well, the Wolves facing a third and, we'll call it seven. Third and eight. Ball sits just inside the 20 yard line. Third and eight right third here, folks. For the Woolies. Nothing on the throw there. Big pressure by Danny four. George. That is Charles Pizzelli. That one falls incomplete. So fourth down for the Woolies. Again, the ball just inside the Wolverines 20. Milbury facing a fourth down and eight. Fourth down and eight for Milbury. Ruben's pass, number 24, is complete. Close to it, and that is the signal. That is a Woolies touchdown. Unbelievable. Wolverines touchdown right there. Got to get your arms up on the line so there. The you know they can throw the ball. First. They pass across the middle from Ruben to Venturium. Venturium. All week long, I was telling some of the guys, I said, they can throw the ball. They're capable of putting up 30 points. They put 52 up. Willies appear to be going for the two-point conversion. And easy as pie. Untouched right there. Untouched right there. And uh, that two -point Lester, you know, good. gives up, uh, you know, right open and drive. It's really sloppy there. I don't, uh, Lester, not, not the usual self right there. We'll be back with LCAC action in a moment. Excuse me, with eight points, your score, Milbury eight, Lester zero. Okay, folks, short technical difficulties here, but we're all set. Number 23, Malachi Sealy, breaks midfield. No, it doesn't break midfield, just shy of midfield. Malachi Sealy there with about eight yards. Wolverine second down and we'll call it a short two for the first down. Ball is on the Wolverines 49 and a half yard line. And off again. The first down there, about a seven yard run. Sealy again with the carry, brought down by number 24. Antonio Venturum again. Not before a Wolverines first down. So having broken into enemy territory, the Wolverines have a first and 10. Ball is on the 44 yard line. The Woolies. Three yard play here. Malachi Sealy. Sealy again, the ball carrier. 
Grinds out four more. Second down and six, balls on the 41 yard line. Give on the right side, number 23, Malachi Sealy, dodging tackles and forcing his way down the field. Big game, eventually brought down by number 33. Nice run, nice run by Malachi Sealy, had to break through some tackles. So Lester's hopefully going to answer right away here. Just because Milbury's one and four doesn't mean that they, uh, they can't put up some points. Falls on the seven yard line, first and goal from the seven. First to go, a little punch back here to Sealy. Going on the outside with that speed. Pitch Looks like he got in. Touchdown, Malachi Sealy. So Lester answers right away in about six plays for the touchdown. Let's we'll see if they're going to go for two here. Nope, I take that back, folks. He was down just shy of the touchdown. Ball's been placed at the one. Oh, actually at the one-yard line, so it looks like about a foot there. Not right, bad. Second down and goal for Wolverines from the one. I'm going to look for a quarterback sneak here. And... Waiting a signal. He's in. Touchdown, there it is. So great nice. answer by the Wolverines. Malachi Seal did all the work, but the quarterback sometimes gets a little bit of the glory doing the cleanup, cleanup job at the end. Backy. Not sure if Lester's going to go for two. It makes sense. In motion, someone in motion on a sweep here. And I don't think they get in. Look too long. Long developing play there, but we'll be back with LCAC action in a moment. Nice kick on the play there. Guy fielded it cleanly, so uh, uh, Woolley's going to get it back on decent field position right there. on the play right there from Milbury. Score is now 8-6. Still early here, we're in the uh, first quarter. Four minutes to go. Rain stopped, finally. Actually a pretty nice evening. Thought it was going to be a washout here. And nothing there, nothing up the middle again. So Lester, nice two stops in a row. Nobody's got that good throwing attack, so. Got to get those hands up on the line, though. A 
And motion again, motion. We're back. I know you missed us. Just in time for the flag. Another penalty right there again. So Leslie not showing any discipline. I it thought I saw someone from Millbury, but uh, sometimes that last guy is the one they see, and they don't see the initial one. So the Woolies have a first and ten from their own 45. Not sure what the call was, but it was against the Wolverines. Encroachment there. I missed an encroachment call. Quarterback draw right there. Ball out, ball out. Nope. Sam Bulma with a nice uh, tackle right there. Senior, number six. Wolverine just got those five yards back. So second down and 11 for the Woolies. Ball is on the 44-yard line. The second down and 11 here. Back again, up the middle. Look like tackle Sammy Lavalette there, number 22, or Rudy Sam Boma. Number 33, Nicholas Lario, if I'm saying that correctly. Short game of the play. Ball is third down and six for Millbury. Ball sits on the 49 yard line. For who, Millbury? All right, here we go, folks. So throw again, a little curl out. Looks like a drop pass. He had it, didn't have it. No, didn't get it, didn't hang on to it. So uh, it's going to bring down fourth and maybe a punt. But Millbury's been pretty aggressive. They could go for it here, folks. From his pass to down, he falls incomplete. No sense of giving the ball. Six for the Woolies. No sense giving the ball back to Lesson. They've, the the They've been offside twice. To Might as well. Forty-five. They got the throw again. Intercepted there. Intercepted. Looks like number twenty-two, Sammy Lavalette. Woolies pass picked off by number twenty-two, Sammy Lavalette. Sammy Lavalette. Nifty running on the right side. Gets back a few yards. Nice. Nice pick there for Sam. Zwei und Zwanzig for the German folks in the audience tonight. Number 22, Sammy Lavalette with yeah. a nice play right there. <laughs> All right, Pete. So after Sam's pick. Sammy Lavalette, a crowd favorite here. On the Woolies 46 yard line, first and 10. 47 yard line, first and 10. A little late handoff here, but. Uh, the late handoff to number 23, Malachi Seeley, broken up by number 76. Lester had wide open number one on the outside wing there. Number Lester's, 76 is John LaRue. Less is yet to throw the ball. <laughs> Gonna rock his crowd here for number 22. Richie, Richie, hand off to Malachi Sealy. Nothing there. Um, you know, it's kind of like you're going to the well a little bit too much there. You got to break it up a little bit, but Malachi is a great runner. But uh, I think Milbury. Uh, oh, we got a player down here. We'll be back here. We'll be taking a pause for a break. LCAC action. All right, we're back here with LCAC action. Looks like the player for Milbury's okay. Banged up. He has to come out, though.
Got a little delay in the action here. I'm not sure what it is. But Lester's way back here. Okay, so the ball sits at midfield. The Wolverines have to go 13 to get a first down. So they are now back in their own territory. They had a wide open fake there and nothing doing there. Gets the ball back to the 50-yard line. So Wolverine's now facing a fourth and 13. <laughs> and that is the end of the first quarter, folks. So the end of the first quarter, we'll be back. All right, Lester, who didn't punt all last week, finds himself to the first punt. Christian Russo, pretty good punter here. I think he can put this way down. Nice punt there. Russo's punt fielded by number eight. Well, that was a pretty good 30-yard punt there. Down with About a five-yard return. Mud bowl. But uh, Lester, uh, you know, puts him back uh, fairly in there. Uh, not so so deep in their end zone, the but second quarter, definitely danger zone if you uh, fumble. From their own 29-yard line, first and 10. Bruins gives number 24, interior. Wow, number 24 just looks like he was stuck stuck in the backfield and he found a hole there, so. Nifty run there. Looks like he was gonna break free there. Got a first down in that play, good run. Two yard line, first and 10 for the Woolies. Call the 41, first and 10 from their own 41 yard line. Left is looking for a turnover here. Rubens give number 33 this time. The Rio. Short game in the play. We'll call it one. Or three. Second down and seven. For the Woolies. Ball sits on the 44 yard line. Give it to Ventura again, but uh, this time by number 20. No, excuse me, number Looks seven. Looks like he had about four or five yards of that play, so it's going to bring down third and uh, Casey Green. Third and fourth. Well, he's shy of midfield. Third down and three. Lesson needs a big stop right here. Lurio with the carry up the middle, plenty of room for the first down. Great handoff right there and great acceleration. That's all it takes. First and 10 for the Woolies. Help oh, call the 46. Nothing there for number Again, 24. Short game. Well, 40 yard game. Called a second down in six. It'll be a different game to play tonight. Running the ball, moving the ball, taking advantage of those penalties on that opening drive. So uh, Lester's going to take a timeout here. We'll be back. Timeout on the field. All right, we're live here with LCAC action. Good Dan Kenny tweeting the scores, the Telegram and Gazette. A little help from someone from the telegram. A little motion here. And he's going nowhere fast. 
So great stop there by Lester. Good time out there by Griff and company. Big stop coming up here for Lester. I look for uh, Milbury to throw the ball here. Quarterback back, little. Okay, on third down and seven, the Woolies. I don't know if he caught the ball the or either way, he, doesn't, he didn't get anywhere. So it's fourth down at about nine. I believe that was to number four, Charles Pizzelli. There's no gain on that play. I believe that was incomplete. If it wasn't, it was brought down immediately. So the result either way is a fourth down and seven for the Woolies. Ball is on the 44 yard line, the Wolverines 44. And it looks like they're going to go for Once it here. Again, the Woolies appear to be going for it. Back with the quarterback toss. Toss to the right side of Anturium. Unsuccessful bid. Wasn't sure on that uh, play right there. You might want to throw it long a little bit, draw a penalty, but uh, you just gave it. Your defense is playing pretty good. And maybe they're not faith in the kicking game, but uh, they gave the Wolverines uh, decent field position here. Lester, so they stop him there. Perhaps I see no lines at the snack shack. Not a soul in front of that brightly lit haven of wonderful delights. Up to Malachi Sealy there. Meanwhile, gives his number 23, Malachi Sealy, on the right side. Grimes out a couple on the far hash. That is the far hash, folks. Second down in seven for the Wolverines. Ball on the far hash. If we had hashes. Nick Mackey rolling left, trying to find someone the left side, number 26, Danny George. That ball falls incomplete. Looks like number 11 was open as well. Deep. He had it in his hands right there. It slipped right through his fingers. You got to come up with that. It's right in your hands. Number 11, Dylan Picaro. Those are, those are the plays seven, right there you're going to make. Again on the 44-yard line. Not sure if gloves would have helped there, but that ball's slippery. You got you to. 44, a good golf score, folks. While we're talking about golf, a uh, quick reminder. West golf team making districts for its 12th consecutive year. Quality deep squad, folks. Lester, well, third down and seven here. Mackey's pass is headed for number one, Ryan Stanek on the left side, just out of Stanek's reach. And that one also falls incomplete. So the result, fourth down and seven for the Wolverines. Ball remains. On the 41 yard line. Throw out to Ryan Stanek there. Better score, um, folks. You know, kind of a long but throw there on that wide out so there. If the guy could pick that off, back. he would have went right back, but Les is forced to punt again. Over his head. Nice punt there by Christian Russo. That was a great punt. Russo's punt. Makes it all the way down to the, it looks like the 12-yard line. So Christian Russo with a nice big Touched boot there. Touched by 23 About a 40-yard punt there, 45-yarder. So the nice punt there. Burying uh, there. Milbury back in there, deep in their zone. So this is good for the Wolverines. Let's see if they can, uh, you know, hold them here, a little field position. Well, folks, I see a crowd gathering in front of the snack shack. It's been that all night, so if Lester well, can so hold them here, it's just, like kind of like a big play anyway. Good time for something good from the snack shack. Okay, first down and 10 for the Woolies. I believe the give is number 33, Lario again. Short gain on the play.
I'm really f surprised, folks. It was supposed to be pouring all night here, and we got we got fortunate. It stopped like you know the heavens open and game time, and football's being played. No rain. That's right, a big, a big, big umbrella. Didn't need it so far. And it looks like uh, the Wooly, they had, it looked like they had someone stop, and all of a middle. sudden, a uh, guy came out of nowhere. Looks like he picked up the first down or close to it. The ball carrier is number 24. Then cheer him. And he does. up for a first down for the Wooly, so ball looks to be on the, call that the 24-yard line. First and 10 from there. Nothing there. Got to be careful throwing that ball Three tonight. Ball Slippery, you know, so uh, the play. I know the Woolies rely on that aerial Not attack, but with the ball being slippery and Jordan slimy, taking that chance for a quick six pick, so. Second down and, second down and eight for the Woolies. Thurman screen to the right side, number 24, Ventura. Slip Nothing there in the play. Line, number 73, Casey Green, number six, Sam Boma. So really nothing on that play. This is a catch, so but uh, play, so actually end up losing. We'll call it 12. Ball is on the 22-yard line. So, folks, we got a 30-second timeout. We'll be back with Time the action. The field, folks. All right, here we go with the action here. Quarterback on the keeper. He's going to throw it. Long throw. Open. And he's got to find a man. And Ruben's pass complete on the left side. The number 24, Venturum. Dragged down by number 22, Sam Rodillette. Looks like he dropped. Tackle nice drop in throw already. right there. Heck of a throw we'll right there. The we got a flag. That is a late hit against the Wolverines. Late hit on the Wolverines there. Drip can't be happy. The result is a 15, yard, 15 yards additional after the reception. They said it was a late hit. So the Woolies wind up with quality field position, first and 10. It's a big call right there. In the Wolverines 34 yard line. Just over four minutes left in the first half. Handoffs number four on the left side. Looks like Les just thinking they're getting the guy in the pile, but he's really just escaping on the outside. I don't. Short of the first. They got to find that ball. Second down Little. and one for Woolies. Seems like uh, on the, the Wolverines are falling line. for something up the middle, and the guy's not there half the time. The outside here. Hand up 24 of Enturm on the right side. Flag on the play. Looks right like a holding. So. Dan George is a flag on the play. Could be a holding that's coming back. That is holding against the Willies. Well, Wolverines will take that all day, all night. That'll cost them five. 10 yard penalty. Ball is placed on the 32 yard line. Less 
Boston needs a big stop right here. Boys, that's going to be 24. Big tackle for number 73, Casey Green. And that's the Bring stop they needed. Right there, folks. That was a big stop. Well short of the first Scores down. eight to six, 247. And it's gonna bring down third and ten here, play. so big stop right here. Ball is on the 33 yard line. We call it a third down and ten for the Woolies. Third and ten. Trying to find so well, nothing there. Side. Looks like fourth down. Does not do so. Intended for number four, Charles Paselli. Falls incomplete. Fourth down and ten for the Woolies. Woolies could either, uh, the in defense is playing good. He can three, try to bury him back. The or they could either go for it. But they're deep here. They're not, so they don't want to give that ball back. From the Wolverines 34 yard line. Just over two minutes left in the first half. Big play in the game right here, folks. Timeout or? It was a Milbury timeout. timeout. That one came in just before the snap, so hopefully we'll be able to get that one before the snap. As we approach it, two and one, folks. Golf record, 12, two and one. Twelve wins, just two losses, one tie. Here we go, fourth and ten for the Woolies. Yeah, fourth and ten right here, folks. Big play in the game, and you know he's throwing it, and you know it's going deep. Number 12, Rubens pass intended for. Looks like Nate Powers, great D right there in the play. Woolley, the far side of the field. Complete. So great throw on the play right, right there, but looked like some great D by Nate Powers yeah, there, number four. Left the, first half. the junior, Nate Powers, number four. Power remains on the 34 yard line, now going right to left. About a 30 yard bomb, and uh, Nate Powers was there to break it up. A little redemption. Yeah, he gave up one a few weeks ago. Celeste gets the ball back, decent Thank field you. position again. They're going to have to move the ball, probably uh, do some throwing here. That is number 23, Malachi Sealy on the left side. Grinds out some tough yards, brought down by number four. That is Chris Charles Pazelli. So a little eight-yard play in that. Hold the phone, folks. This just in. Meatball grinders in the snack shack. My goodness, meatball grinders. It's crazy here tonight, folks. Meatball grinders. Thank you, Mr. Robbie Kemp, for that important update. Robbie Kemp, also a member of the golf team. Mackey's pass, intended for number one, Ryan Stanek. Ball's incomplete, almost picked off by number 24. It is not. Looks like Milbury is ready for that motion play. Pulling out all the stops here tonight, folks. Third down here, folks. Direct snap to the quarterback. Someone's got some daylight there. Go, 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 go. Nick Mack, he finds lots of room on the left yes, side, brings it all the way down to the 25-yard line. So a direct snap right to the quarterback, it looks like. I believe there is a flag on the play, and there is indeed a flag on the play. That one appears to be coming back. Oh. Come on. That is a holding call against the Wolverines. Allie Mars up here with me did indeed make that call. For her. So it's still going to be, it looks like a first down, I think, but. Oh, 
Mackey's pass. Finds the hands of number four, Nate Powers, on the right side. That one is complete, folks. Ball's going to be placed on the 22-yard line. First and 10 for Wolverines. So nice throw right there. A nice catch on the nice lob there. The first, half. first down and 10. Ball's on the 22. Les is looking to punch this in here. Plenty of time to go. Probably got a few timeouts. Right up the middle there. Number two, Nick Mackey keeps it himself. Grinds out a few tough ones. So we're going to get a timeout from Milbury here on this. We'll be back with LCAC action. When play resumes, it'll be a second down. All right, folks, here we go with the action. Nate Powers in the motion here. Misdirection. Number four, Nate Powers in the ball on the left side. Looks like a Close first. to first down yardage. There's another timeout. And that is going to be a first down. So the Wolverines will have a first and goal. Ball is placed just inside the 10 yard line. So if Lester can take care of the ball here without, you know. 37 seconds left. They have a great Wolverines chance of scoring here. Threatening. The closing seconds of the first half. Forty-one seconds left in the clock. Eight to six. Milbury, who scored in the opening drive, yet to score. And Lester, it's been kind of a back and back little chess match going on. Both teams aren't really making any super big plays. With a few twenty yarders here, thirty yarders. Got Dave Stanick on the wide out there. Got Nick Mackey here in the center. We have a quick time correction, folks. There is actually 41 seconds left in the first half. So the clock says 37, but there is indeed 41 seconds left in the first half. First and goal for the Wolverines from there, from the nine. Nick Mackey had the drop back here. Mackey complete to Bowman, number six on the right side. Has not a touchdown. Sam is out, I believe he made it out of bounds. He did indeed make it out of bounds, so the clock stops. Ball is placed on the third, third, three yard line. That is the third yard line from the goal. And again, official time being kept on the field for the remainder of the first half. Look for Lester to run this right up the middle here, the gut. Someone's in there. It looks like a touchdown. Touchdown, Wolverines. Wolverines. In the waiting seconds of the first half. Not sure who got that one. Two minute drill there. Could be Malachi Sealy or Sammy Lavalette. Not sure in the call. So someone got the land of six there. I think it was Malachi Sealy. Wait for the official. Well, the score Wolverines 12, Woolies 8. Wolverines elected to go for two. Mackey's pass instead of a number four and eight powers falls incomplete. And that's going to be the half. We got a Wolverine down on the play. That is indeed the end of the first half, folks. Developments here. Uh, <laughs> Looked like it was the end of the half, and uh, Lester somehow got the ball back on the recovery. Yeah, and the then Woolies. there was a foul on the Woolies, so um, this is big right here. Lester could score here. I think they got one play. That's about it. Fisher so down 15 yards off of this one. So. so Lester could score here. I mean, they got one play. They're on the 10-yard line. So um, this could be a big play in the game right here. Lester's up right now 12-8. to eight. First and 10 for the Wolverines. 
Christian Russo had a great onside kick, then went down and uh, recovered the ball. So great football play by the young sophomore, Christian Russo. Timeout on the field. Also the punter. Dramatic end of the first half here, folks. Uh, if you can turn that into some points right here, this would be huge. So Lester is, uh, you know, we thought we were going to halftime here. You just never know. Do apologize if we had the camera off, but we thought it was I over. I assume that the meatball grinders have already been quiet. The only explanation I have for a no line at the snack shack. They're on the 10 yard line, looks like. Uh, 12, 15 yard. Oftentimes known as hoagies to our friends from Pennsylvania. I think this is one play right here, I believe. Here we, we got go. one we got right one here. play. Obviously it's gonna be a throw, so uh, just lob it in the end zone. See what you can do. Exciting into the half here though. Little drama here. Okay, so here we go. Ball sits on the 13 yard line. Again, the Wolverines have a first and ten. Time being kept on the field. There can't be much left. No time here. Nate Powers lobs it in the end zone to someone. Number four, Nate Powers under center. This pass intended for number 23, Malachi Seeley, falls incomplete on the right side. I'm not sure there what the play call was, but it looked like they were trying to go deep so in the end zone. Down and 10 for Wolverines. Not sure how much time is left. It's Complete pass, no clock movement. So we're going to try again here, probably try another throw in the end zone. Okay, second and 10 from the 13. Mackey's pass intended for Ryan Stanek, number one on the left side. Les is trying some quick slants here, quick, you know. But they got one, I'm not sure how much time they got here, Third but. Down and 10 for the Wolverines. Nothing doing here. You got to move that ball, but it's got to be in the end zone. The throws have to be close. Not sure if they miss this. Uh, they might try to go for a kick here. We'll put them up by uh, seven, so. Here goes Lester. They are going to try the kick here. So we got a timeout here. So they are going to try to kick it. It's the last time out here, but uh, Lester, you know, it looked like we're going to the halftime with the lead. But, um, you know, this would be a nice little three points for him. Go up by seven at the half. You know, Dan Kenny's been tweeting halftime over, but I don't know where he's getting his information, what game he's watching, you know? Jason. The gold fish guy, he's thinking like he already caught the big bass. It's already in the boat. The fish is not in the boat, folks. The boat is still out there. They haven't reeled it in yet. But here we go. 12-8, Nick Mackey here. It's gonna, they're gonna, what? They're gonna, they're gonna go for it here. They just changed it up. Okay, third and 10. And Milbury decides to take that. a little time out too. Time so a uh, little chess match action going on. That is a Milbury timeout. Maybe Lester might go back and kick it. And here we go. Put the circus on the tent. Or the tent on the circus, whatever you want. Actually, I think the Ringland brothers are in town this weekend. Stop on by the DCU Center. A lot of exciting events coming up in the fall and in the winter. Dan Kenny's big fishing show exposition coming up in uh, 
Dan, where's that exposition? When is that going to take place? In January? Last weekend in January. Last weekend in January. Be sure to attend the Big Fishing Expo up in uh, uh, Boxborough, Mass. at the Holiday Inn. Look on Go Fish Dan for uh, details. exciting event hope the weather is uh, great this year every year it seems like this mother nature wants to snow on it we got a good feeling this year though this one's gonna be the uh, record-breaking all right here we go okay third and ten still third and ten right here folks and Nick Mackey looking right looking right he's he sees someone. Oh, Ryan Stanek! Nick Mackey's pass complete to number one. Ryan oh, my Mackey. land. What a play right there, folks. He Good went shot. roll right. Touchdown, wow. Let's see what they'll do here. Wow. So, Lester. Wow. What a crazy half here. Uh, credit Christian Russo going down there, hustling on special teams, you know, recovering that ball on the punt, and uh, and Lester just moving the ball, and there was a penalty, you know. Milbury with the bad penalty right, right there. They got a two-point conversion Nick here. Sam Lavalette sneaking he through. And he's in. And he's in. in. Good. Sam Lavalette, 22. 22, Sammy Lavalette. Number 22, little crowd favorite. Mighty Mouse over there coming in. Look at him. He's all happy. So Lester's pumped right there. That is, folks, the end of the first half. Lester's got a little bounce in this step there. They take the lead now, 20 to 8. Milbury cannot be happy there. Uh, it definitely should have been a 12-8 halftime game, still in the game. And Right there is going to be a heartbreaking for As them. As I had mentioned so, earlier, but, folks. You know, they got a good aerial attack, and that's why you contest. line it up. And, uh, you know, they're only down Milbury 12. They put up 50 points last player. week. So uh, don't go away, folks. The Lester Milbury game has had a 14 year tradition. As you all can see. All right, folks. We're, we're back here with LCAC action. We're about to get the, the kickoff going. Lester's up right now. 20 to 8 after Bazaar. End of the first half. Lester recovered a ball uh, on the special teams and took it in. Ryan Stanek with the big play, big catch. Little short little kick here. Someone, Sam Boma. So Sammy Boma, a nice little run there. Got about a little 12 yard scamper. Great field position again for Lester. Looks like the 47 yard line. Great field position to begin the second half. Wolverines. And at the end of the half, Sammy Lavalette with the uh, two-point conversion yes, catch. Actually run. Sammy having Italian a good half here. Were in fact fantastic. Maybe they'll be back next week. One can only hope. Celeste's goal here is, you know, obviously try to come out and score right away. Also put uh, them in deep territory. Nothing there. There is number 23, Malachi Sealy on the left side. Brought down by number 72. Like Nothing there on the handoff. Good. Number 72 is Andrew Coase. I could get one of these. So big game James next to me. He's uh, got a little meatball sub here. Got the hot chocolate going. That's all I care in the moment right now. <laughs> Ball is back at the 44 yard line. First and 14. Give it to number six, Sammy Bowman on the right side. Another loss for Wolverines. Let's just try and a little razzle dazzle there. I mean, I think they can the pound it up the middle. They got some size in the line. Ball's going to be placed on they're the 40 yard line. Trying to go so uh, east to west instead of going north to south. Look for they should be pounding it right down the middle. Lester's well, going to be forced to probably throw it here. Oh, 
Pretty good D by uh, Milbury, even though we still put up 20 in the first half. Number two, Nick Mackey keeps it. Finds a little room on the Nick right Mary, side. Nick Mackey on the carry the there. Line of scrimmage, but that is, of course, well short of the first down. So the ball will be placed at the 47-yard yard line. Fourth down and 10. So it looks like you're going to get a punt here. Christian Russo had a 40-yarder last time. Oh, another big boot. Another big boot. Nice. Russo is put, fielded by number 12, I believe. So fielded by the Milbury player. That could have been right down on the five-yard line if you didn't catch that. So nice catch by the Milbury uh, defender. And uh, he didn't go anywhere. So Milbury's going to start around the 25. The ball's placed just shy of the 20 yard line. First and 10 for the Woolies from their own 19. Now let's call it the 20. That is number 33, the ball carrier, Lurio. Gain of five, second down and five. Left to go for first down. Ball's on the 25 yard line. 25 yard line here, folks. Looks like you found our opening here, folks. Quarterback. Give is number 24 on the right side. Number 24, Venturum, brought down by number three. Wolverines, that is. Last thing you want to do is get lazy on D. Lester getting comfortable with the lead here. You don't, want to, you don't want to just let him march right up the field. and. Not before a Woolies. They're only down two over. scores here. So. First and ten, the ball is on the 41-yard line. You want to make line. this as hard as you can. Woolies will need to cross midfield for the first down. Nothing there. Look at the ball out. No. Late whistle there. I mean, no, no it whistle is there. To, I believe number 33 at the bottom of that pile. That is indeed the Rio. Pushed by the offensive line, gains five yards. Got about five yards down the by the there. Wolverines. Eventually led by number 26, Danny George, number three. Once again, Dagan Mott. Second down and four for the Woolies. Lario again, this time brought down by number six, Sammy Boma. Short gain of the play, result in a third down and two. Ball sits on the 49 yard, 49 yard line. Sammy Boma with the big play. Always need to get to the Wolverine 49 yard line. Lester needs to stop right here. In motion there, no one there. Oh, Adam stopped for a minute. Number think, four, I believe. I don't think he got it there. Number four is fourth and uh, one. Pizzelli. He's close to a first down. So Looks then, to be shy, however. Them down two scores here. There's, uh, there is no measure, so it is fourth down and one. Plus is here, gonna get a little goal line stand here. Ball sits just shy of midfield. And the Woolies need about Two feet to get the first down. Quarterback in the shotgun here. He goes back, motion. He moved a little bit there Ruben and made a good play. He is successful in that bid. So first down for the Woolies, they do get across midfield. He switched to the right side so and uh, found a little daylight down. there. First down, nice play by the quarterback. Wolverines 49 yard line proper, first and 10. James, how's that meatball sub? Good. Not good as Vincent's though in Worcester though. You've been to Vincent's. That's a meatball sub. Then turn the ball carrier brought down by 80 Matt Morrow. 
Little help from number one, Ryan Stanick, number four, Nate Powers in there as well. So Lester in on that tackle right there. Welcome. May happen. Matt a Morrow and Ryan Stanick on the play. No gain on the play, second down and ten. Actually, they lost uh, about a yard on that play right there. Big time play. Okay, ready, ready. Give me a B. B. Give me an R. Up the middle again. Nothing doing there. The aerial attack was working for Milbury. They're content to try the ground game. And that is 24 in terms stuffed at the line of scrimmage. Actually, short, short loss of the play. Still third down. So it's third and down and 10 here. Long 10. All right, here we go, folks. Right back again. Found some daylight. Oh, look how he... Ruben keeps it, tries to go to the left. Tripped up by the field there, but brought down by number 23, Malachi Seeley. Malachi Seeley, been all over the field tonight. Nice play so there. The play. Ball is pushed back to the 46 yard So it's a loss right there, and the uh, I'm not sure if the Willies... Ready to give uh, Wolverines 39. Lester the ball back, but they're going to look like they're going to punt. So it's fourth down and 14 for Milbury. They appear to be in punt formation. It's one of their first punts of the day. Down there, could be a block there. Someone, oh, fumble. Recovery, looks like someone's got it. So the Low snap, and Lester's got the ball back anyway. The someone came up with it. The result of the play is a Wolverines takeover on Looks downs. like uh, the quarterback, no Nick Mackey, come up with that one. Either so, way, we're getting the ball back the right there. So uh, might have been better if Milbury uh, went Milbury's for it. I think that's what they have a problem with special teams. Field position. Ball is placed on the 36-yard line. Les is getting excellent field position here. Folks, if you waited to avoid the rush at the Snack Shack, I can tell you happily, it is wide open, brightly lit. Not sure if the grinder's still available or not, but I'm sure there's a couple of dogs left in the Snack Shack. Go grab you some. First and 10 for Wolverines. McMackey with the rollout here, all alone. Mackey rolls left, complete the number six, Sam Boma. Sam Boma with the catch there. there. Nice little roll out there. Call that number 33, Lario, and number four, Pacelli. So Sammy Boma having a nice game, big senior. And 10 from their own, excuse me, from the Milbury 19 yard line. See the class of 2014 has joined me up here on the hill. 15, whatever. So here's Lester. Right back again. Nick Mackey, a little throw out. There it is. Sammy Boma again. Sam Boma, the ball carrier on the right side. First down, Yardies, and then some. So Lester's going a little bit of the aerial attack tonight. After they haven't been moving the ball on the uh, ground, these uh, little short dump passes. Ball is on the been working. Line. First and goal from the seven. Wolverines already up 12. Lesson goes three in the wide out there. Nate Powers, quarterback keeper. Powers under center, keeps it. Tries to shred a couple of yards on the right side. Short gain on the play. Second down and goal for Wolverines. Ball is placed on the six. We'll give it one yard game to play. Second down and goal from the six yard line. This could be uh, the knockout blow for Lester here. They put this in for a touchdown. Quarterback keeper to Nick Ma Nate oh, Powers the in the land of six. Right the that is another Wolverine touchdown. <laughs> nifty play, nifty run. Number four. So Nate Powers finds the land of six there. Nice little run. 
Cut to the middle. So Lester's uh, up right now, 26 to eight, in total control of this game. That could be the knockout blow right there. Up 26 eight. So um, Les With Milbury. Less uh, desirable field conditions. Wolverines look to be going for two. Two point conversion coming up. Nick Mackey. Pass complete to Malachi Sealy. That is a success. Two point conversion. So. So two point oh, conversion to Malachi Sealy there. Teams are back at the field. So successful two-point conversion, 28 to eight. Lester's up. By number 23, Malachi Sealy. Number 22, Sam Laviolette. Looks like number 30 in there as well. Number 30 is A.J. Brown. A.J. Brown in on the tackle there. So the ball is placed on the 36-yard line. Woolies first and 10. Just two minutes left in the third quarter. Goal two minutes to go in the... 20. Quarterback going back. Oh. Rubens pass intended for number 89 on the right side. Almost picked off by number four. Nate Powers had that, <laughs> that one did not in the numbers. Case. That was no definitely, was definitely. Incomplete. Second down and 10. Definitely one you got to hang on to there. Milbury's forced to the aerial attack here, being down. Second down and 10, ball remains on the 36. There we go, a little snap back here. Good job, number 24, Venturum. Ridden out of bounds by number three, Dagan Mott. Dagan Mott with a nice hit there. Short gain on the play, if any. It takes me a while to realize he's weighing nope. around. It's <laughs> so third down and 10, ball remains on the 36 yard line. So uh, Milbury here, third and long, 10 yards. So uh, Lester's in total control of this game here. It seemed like a great game in the first half and after that turnover. Uh, the wheels would come off ever since for Milbury. Ruben's pass, I believe, is it? No, it's complete. Pass is complete. A little short of the first the down, but uh, going to be fourth and five. Ali Mar is quick on the names. 89 is Tyler Daly. That ball is complete, but it is well short of a first down. So fourth down, and the ball is on the 44-yard line. We'll always need to get to the 47. No, oh, look, looks like he got it. Yeah, first down. Nice play by Milbury. The Rio, the ball carrier. Desperate there, nice little down. run on the so outside. On fourth down. Ball is brought out to the Milbury 49-yard line. First and 10. Almost the end of the third quarter here, probably last play before Just the end of the quarter. Left in the third quarter, clock running. Inside handoff. Looks like that's number the Rio again, I believe. No, number four. That's Pizzelli. Short gain on the play. Second down and eight. Always we'll look to get one playoff here before the end of the third quarter. Short pass is complete on the left side, close to first down yardage. I believe that's number. Coach is furious about something. Someone downfield on the play 25, there. 26. Looked like he crossed the line there, line of scrimmage, and I don't know. I think the refs parking their brains on this one. Okay, ball complete to a dude on the left side. Ball must be just shy of a first down, so it's third and less than a yard. 
Last play of the third quarter. It is a first down for Woolies. All right, we'll be back, folks. The end of the, the third quarter. Intended to be done tonight is now not due until tomorrow. You're welcome. All right, first and ten. Spin there. Ventura, the ball carrier, number 24. Shreds a few on the right side. I'm not sure that's going to get it done, just doing a little spin moves. They're going to have to get some quick strikes down the field. Call it a gain of three, second down and seven for the Woolies. Ball's on the third. Dave Turner comes, comes off the field line. along with Malachi Seeley. 37 yard line. He is, however, stripped of the ball. I could be wrong, but I believe Matt Morrow had a hand on that one. Matt Morrow had and him, and he got stripped of the ball, Wolverine and the Wolverine got the ball back. So Matt Morrow with the strip. Nice play. Ball placed on the imaginary near hash mark. First down and 10 from the 33-yard line for Wolverines. Wolverines are moving left to right. So the Wolverines get the ball back. Good field position. Just looked like when the Woolies were starting to march down, a turnover. Run right there. There's a strong one breaking daylight. Silly the ball carrier brought down by number 12, Ruman. So a first down Close run first right down. there. Malachi able to stay in bounds, keep the clock moving or not. Right, that was a first down run. The ball placed on the 44 yard line, Wolverines 44 yard line. Nesta needs to get to the 46 yard line. And off up the middle there. 22, Sam Lavalette, the ball carrier. Sammy Lavalette with the big play right there. 12 yard Great skipper. Play, first down. Wait for the shouts in the audience. The Sammy, we can hear it. Sammy, the crowd Wolves. loves him. 44 yard line, first and 10. Clock running. Griff's loving this. Clock running, steady Eddie. Steady as she goes. Give us number 23, Malachi Seeley, brought down by Lario, number 33. Nothing there, nothing. Field getting a little messy in the middle there. Result in a short loss. Second down and 11 for the Wolverines. Second down and 11 here, folks. Inside gift number 22, Sam Laviolette. Looks like they picked him right up, but he held on to the oh, ball. Right. Sammy Lavalette, tough Should customer. Third down and nine. Tough range. as they come, tough as nails. They need to get the ball Dad's to a the firefighter in Worcester, you know. One of Worcester's finest. Third down here. Mackey back here. He's going to throw the ball. He's going long. Mackey's pass is in for number 11. Indeed, completed to number 11. Number 11, Dylan Picaro. Dylan Picaro with the catch. First year player. 
Big game for the Reeves. Big catch First right there. From the ten. Les is looking to punch it in again. A little sweep outside. Someone's out on the outside. They've got to run it. Got the speed. Malachi. Pitch number 23. Malachi shifting head down. Close to a touchdown. Just shy. Brought down by number 22. Number 22 is Tyler LeBlanc. So Malachi Sealy. Second down and goal for all the Reeves from the sec, the two yard line. So here we go. Not sure if they're going to try to run in or throw. Number 23, close to a touchdown, just shy. Malachi brought down. You know, someone wants that touchdown, four. you know? Mark. Hate to say pat the stats, but someone's going to get a you know nice little gift here, hopefully. Third and goal for the Wolverines. Coach well, likes the quarter the likes the quarterback it's sneak on this play right here. It's contest. McMack in the roll back, hand off. Nothing there. Got second down or third down or fourth down. Silly again, the ball carry, this time for a short loss. The ball is back to the four yard line. I'm not sure the less is going to try to kick it or. There. You want to practice all you can, so this is the time to practice. You're not really running up the score. Yeah, unless you get in the 40s, so. Uh, Clock continues to run. Must have be good to try something here. Something they could work on. Nick Mackey. Uh, so on fourth down, the Wolverines let to go for it. Pass intended for number 80, Matt Morrow falls incomplete. So we have a turnover on downs. Incomplete pass there. They had him on the goal line. Just Wolverine about, just missed it. From their own four yard line. Just over five minutes left. So five game. minutes to go. And the Woolies go 95 Again, yards. Quick reminder, following tonight's contest, presentation of the most valuable player award for our annual Lester Milbury contest. So Milbury came in here pretty spirited and uh, through basically the first half and uh, giving Lester a run for their money, but then uh, just the special teams play turned into a two-score game and they haven't been to recover since. I don't know if we got a fumble again. No. Clock's going to run here. I'm not sure if Milbury's going to just say, uh, let's get out of here and no injuries. Or they get some pride and uh, try to try to march it down 90 yards, but. They're way, yeah, they're way back at the goal line. Looks like they're only on the three. Almost a safety there. <laughs> they look like they went back another foot. So uh, uh, Milbury's <laughs> one yard line, not even one foot yard line. One. So um, either way, Les is going to get this ball back at some point here. If they can't go 15 yards. So Lester's probably going to roll to 5 and 0. Oh. And they head into next week's game uh, against Bartlett. And uh, chance to go 6-0. And, oh. and they're throwing the end zone. They found a little daylight there. And a little more daylight. 
And uh, looks like a first down. Okay, so facing a significant third down, the Woolies able to convert. So a big play by the Woolies to get out of their own zone. The ball comes out to the 11 yard line. The only thing here is they're still gonna have to march 70 yards in three minutes just to try to get a score. Check that, that's the 15 yard line. So first and 10 for the Woolies from their own 15. And not sure where they're going on these runs here, but uh, Lester's sniffing them out pretty easy. Wilbury ball carrier brought down by number 23, Malachi Seeley. Right side, loss on the play. Lester's shuffling in some subs here. Second down and 12. Ball is Brings on up. the 12-yard line. Second down and 12 here. Tried the quarterback, keep on the quarterback, got away, free. Number 12, room in the car, ball carrier, keeps it himself. Running First for his life there. The side. <laughs> Definitely had been sacked right there and uh, found uh, 15 yards of daylight. So, uh, well, he's placed on the running for his life there, the quarterback. Line. First and 10. Don't blame him right there. Lester had the sack right there. Ball come out there. Big play right there, someone's got it. And it went all the way out of bounds from there. No play. I don't think they're going to call it completion either, but uh, something happened there. This is kind of at the end of the game where you smell blood and you, you're kind of putting the hammer down. That back to the quarterback. Ball out again. Nothing going there. Wolverines. That is Nate Power. No, it is not. Ruben's pass complete on the right side. They get him out with the big he hit right there. Who made the catch? But he was met quickly by number three, Dagan Mott. And number six, Sammy Boma. No game on the play. Fourth down and ten for the Woolies. Ball is on the 30-yard line. 29-yard line. So we got a minute 18 to go. Shepardini coming by. In tonight's contest. Flag action. <laughs> it's a penalty against the Woolies. I'm going to guess that it might be delayed a game. 
regardless it's a five yard penalty and we may remain fourth down. So a minute, seven seconds left in the game. Fourth and 15. Fourth and 15. Boys punt fielded by number one, Ryan Sinek, brought down by number 72. Andrew Combs. Wolverines take over. Ball be placed on the 40, 40 yard line. 4 0. Yeah, 40, 40 seconds line. left to go. On the near hash mark. Someone said they'll probably kneel on it. Yes, it's probably what they're going to do. Unless you want a couple of runs for a few of the JV players. But other than that, the game's over. 28 to 8. Besides that score on the opening drive by Milbury, they uh, didn't do much the rest of the game. Less to held them. Floppy field, and uh, Les is going to walk away here, 5-0. Oh. And that's it right there, folks. So with the score, 28-8, to eight the and the, the end, game, end of the folks. game, folks. Uh, we're all done here with the LCAC we'll action. The game's we'll over. And uh, that's it. On to Bartlett next week. Woolies eight. <laughs> Folks, remember earlier the announcement of tonight's MVP will be coming in just a few minutes after the teams shake hands. Direct your attention to midfield. Could Kim Lauder please join the, the teams to present the Terry Lauder MVP Wait, trophy? Hey. Most valuable player of tonight's contest, number 23, Malachi Seeley.